Welcome back to M Hood Fishing, everybody. It is just after five. It's blowing at 16. In about a few hours, it'll be blowing at 14. So to say the least, it's gonna be windy for this session. With that out of the way, here's the rest of the talking bit because it's gonna be windy in our face. Not a lot of talking today. Same rig on each rod. We'll start with the main line, both are the same. 45 pound test, coastal brown, down to a sinker slide. The normal bead, the normal swivel, a liter of 50 pound mono, a six octopus, chunks of mullet on both. That's from yesterday's video. We're definitely over the neap tides. There's more current here than the last time I came. I'm using four ounces. It trucked it a little too far to the right. I want this to stay over here. I'm going to have to do a better cast. Better, much better. Hopefully that stays more to the left than going to the right. This I'm going to put towards the end. That means no matter how I look at it, I'm playing a fish through this. Whoa, -ho -ho. oh. You're not ready yet, are you? I think you're gonna be soon because I think you're still with me. Did you guys see that? Actually, both rods have already had little pecks. That is the most serious one right there. I thought it was gonna just keep going. He's still there. I can see something happening. It's not that pronounced, but it... we'll give it 10, 15 minutes and then pull it up because maybe he's stripping me. Well, maybe he just hasn't got serious yet. I'll wait for him to get confident and really bite down and take a yank. Okay. Let's see, are you serious? Gotcha. Honestly, I thought this one was gonna go off. I've got people fishing a little bit down the way from us. You see them in the trees, they got a hammock going. I haven't been out for very long, maybe 20, to 30 minutes well this is kind of nice he's holding tight to that current that's why it feels nice he might change I might change my opinion of him but for the moment this is a decent start catching a fish before you lose the light when you come here in the afternoon is a decent start Yeah, he's not gonna be Moby Dick and whoa I thought I lost him right there because something totally changed oh ho, ho, it is a good start even though he's not very big and you're about to know why look at this you can't see him yet but I will show you now look at that our first fish is a little tabby Get him in that sunshine. Look at that, little guy. Yeah, you're right, little flathead. Awesome. Will and his friend are gonna help us out here real quick. They got the hammock and the waves. Not the biggest one, but a good start. Only been here for maybe 30 minutes, maybe less. Yeah, you're right, guys. Early days, early days. Hopefully we get even better fish. Yeah, you're right. Since these guys were so nice, they, they asked if they could have the fish and we will let you have it. Thank you. Yeah, you're right. That's what that bait's looking like, really tore up. We got to change it. But let me tell you, these guys right down here, I think might be interfering with this. We might have some lines tangled. So we're going to pull this up because it got hit a lot. If that's what that bait looks like after that fish and a few hits before him, there might not be any bait on this one and we might be into his line all right let's see let's see oh it's getting a bite huh. all right let's let's not see let's just wait and see what happens it's getting a little bite that, that's probably someone stripping me out there okay it's been long enough let's face the wind face the music here not only could i be tangled up with will's line I might get tangled up coming in on this willow line here. We're gonna come 
this way a little bit. I can see his rod from here. I don't feel anything weird. And we're in the willows. Boom! Oh, good. I'm gonna cast this to where our baits shouldn't contact each other. Probably could have still caught a fish with that, but look, it was getting all tore up. This mullet's kind of soft because I took a rest day after Pompano and Redfish down there around Grand Isle. These mullet are still good to fish with. However, not if you want to do a fillet. When they're kind of soft, a fillet is not going to last very long. So you want to do a steak cut like that. I'm going to get the scissors and trim that off right there. That should be better. That should not drift all the way over to where Will and his friend are. Already getting a bite on that first rod I put out in a different position. Okay, I think you're on. Yes. I thought it was gonna be that rod again. I just love it when I, I catch two fish before it gets dark. Sometimes I come here and I don't really get into the good stuff until it gets dark. That's not too far off, so we'll see. This is not a big fish, however, but it's not a little tiny thing either. He's probably gonna be about somewhere around five or 10 pounds. Not a flathead. Got us a, yeah, somewhere between five and 10 pound blue cat right here. This was not all the way out. It's a little bit shallower, but I expect to find fish in shallow water right now. Yeah, somewhere between five and 10. Nice little blue cat. We're gonna have to try this again. Come on. I'm gonna walk my cat back out to the river. All right, let's try it again. I'll give you a head start this time. And that worked. I'm kind of stuck between these two rods and those two rods. Well, he's still here, but Will has got to go do something real quick. So I'm going to do him a favor. I want to be going crazy because I got to watch those two over there in the trees and my two over here. We'll see how that works out. Honestly, it'll probably be fine, maybe. I can barely see this one right here. We're not seeing a lot of action for the past maybe 30 minutes. There's barely been a bite. Probably maybe more time than that. It seems to have slowed down. This part of the river, because it's so close to the Gulf, it's tidal, right? A lot of people are new to that concept of rivers being tidal, but when they're when you're close to the mouth of the river, close to the ocean, you're gonna see a tidal signal. And the closer you are, the more of a tide you're gonna see. Sometimes you can see a tidal signal on the Mississippi here, all the way up to Baton Rouge. But of course, I'm south of New Orleans and a good ways still to the mouth. However, close enough for a tidal signal. And high tide was not too long ago Sometimes when we see a change in the bite like this, it could be about the tide. Also, just it could be anything. The level in the flood stage right now is 12.4. Now, that doesn't mean that it's 12.4 feet out there. That's just where we are on the gauge that measures our flood stage. We're at 12.4 and we're gonna drop. We're supposed to drop all the way down 
it's predicted anyway, all the way down to eight. However, it's probably gonna rise back up later on as we go through spring. It'll be up and down. Oh, I'm getting another bite over on this far rod. This session has just trended down to nothing. All the action so far was really good early on, right as I got out there. And then it just started trending down less and less bites. We're losing the light. It's past sunset. It's going to be dark soon. I'm going to give it till then, till it's dark and see what's up. It's cooling off. It's in the 60s already. Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll get something, but it's not looking good right now. As you can tell, since I've been here, water has gone out because high tide was before we got here, not too long before. So it's turned around while we were here and it's starting to go out. We have an outgoing tide. So the depth is changing. The current is changing out there. To give you a good idea of how much the water level has changed because of the tide going out since I've been here, when I got here, water level was up to this these these were the openings were underwater and now we have about two inches of a difference i'm dragging something in what could it be oh i saw something change on the line and was wondering what was going on I tell you, all kinds of things can happen when you're fishing the river. But yeah, you're right. A stick drifted into the line. Sometimes a session starts out like it's going to be good and then just does what it did tonight. Trends down to nothing. Yeah. So, thanks for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. I'll see you next time.